fluid information coming in from the site, but what we do know right now is this. Shooting broke out right around 5.30 tonight at the mall. One person, one suspect is in custody, and four people are injured. That much we do know. That's about all we know at this point. The mall is closed at this hour as uh, Oak Brook Police via Twitter calling this an active investigation and actually asking for the public, uh, if they have any information regarding the case, uh, to contact uh, Oak Brook Police. But again, this happened at Oak Brook Center. One suspect in custody already, and as you can see, just a flurry of police activity right outside the mall. No doubt about it. The number of uh, police response teams, it's just an amazing array of police units from the western suburbs are on the scene. We saw several ambulances from uh, Air Fox and uh, in and out. It's not... Uh, we don't know exactly. We, we all only know that four people are injured right now. Whether or not for sure they have been shot, uh, that has not been explained to us just yet. Right. As you mentioned, Corey, very fluid. I'm kind of uh, scanning now what Oak Brook police are sending out via their official, their verified Twitter account. They're saying right now they are staging media members right outside of Pinstripes. I believe that's a bowling facility uh, right now. They tweeted that out 17 minutes ago. So that's kind of going to be the bottleneck for uh, information. Um, so uh, as soon as that is uh, set up, we'll, we'll get you the very latest uh, information. And we do have a crew en route to Oak Brook Center. Let's uh, check in with Nate Rogers, who uh, just got there. Looks like there's a bunch of police activity behind you. Nate, what do you know? Yeah, that's right, Anthony and Corey. A lot of police activity here, as you mentioned. We just got here within, I'd say, the last 30 or 45 minutes. I've seen dozens of police vehicles um, from the area. Oak, Oak Brook Police, um, Cook County Sheriff Police. Um, we've seen them circulate in the building. Just spoke to a guy named Rom. Rom's going to join me now. Rom was scheduled to have um, dinner here with his son. Your son was inside, you tell me. I um, mean, tell me what else happened. What, you, you, re you received a call, and what happened? Pretty much, uh, he let me know that he was going to be late for dinner mm. at six fifteen, mm. and because he uh, was locked in the, in the store. That's it. Right. So he's locked in the store. We've heard from um, some police officers here that the shooting apparently happened inside the mall on the second level. What else was your son able to tell you? Pretty much, that's that's it. That's yeah. pretty because uh, he's been in the store ever since it happened, so he's haven't been outside the store. So pretty much, uh, everything that. Uh, I told you before, the same thing. Well, I've seen you, sir, um, and a lot of parents just worried, concerned, frantic. What are your thoughts right now as your son is still locked inside of the mall? Because, again, the mall is on lockdown right now. What, um, what are your thoughts about just what we're experiencing in this moment? Well, the whole thing, I never experienced anything like this, but at the same time, you know, just overly concerned that I uh, know he's okay. And uh, you know what I mean? Just, I just needed him to come out, out of there. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's I got you. It. Thank you so much for talking to us, buddy. I'm going to check in with you later. All right, thank you. So that's the sentiment. That's what we're hearing from many parents. You see um, the, the parking lots here surrounded um, with families that are just in their cars, on the phone, on FaceTime with their loved ones, waiting for them to come outside. All of the doors surrounding the mall right now are locked, and every um, entrance and even exit, they're armed. They're, they're guarded by security right now. Um, we've reached out to mall security, haven't heard anything back, reached out to police. It sounds as if they are starting to let folks out right now. Um, I'm going to see if I can talk to a few of those people that are that are getting out. Um, but that really is the scene that's, that we're experiencing right now. Um, give me one second. Nate's trying to work the crowd there and so get some it's, information. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it sounds like a lot of families are being released right now um, from the mall. You can see um, two guys apparently walking with a woman. She um, appears to be crying right now, but a very emotional scene, you guys. As I mentioned, since we've been out here for the last 45 minutes, um, mothers and fathers literally crying and saying, no, I can't believe this. Um, folks that we've heard from so far are safe inside, but it's just the agony of waiting for sure. their loved ones to come out. Um, that, that's what we're experiencing right now. Right now, so Anthony? so Nate, you have seen a lot of sort of reunions there, uh, mothers and fathers seeing their kids, perhaps that kind of thing. Um, has there been any the, the sense of uh, is there a sense of, of relief and calm now, or is there still a sense that there may be some suspects on the loose within the mall, or do we really know? 
Well, we, we do know from police, um, as you all mentioned at the top of this, that there is one um, suspect in custody. But from the parents that we've talked to, I mean, I, I, I've counted probably, I don't know, a dozen. Okay, we lost Nate's audio there, but you can just see that flurry of uh, police. I'm sorry, uh, we were having some audio troubles there. I was simply saying that we've seen a lot of um, pe folks sitting in their cars just crying, wanting their loved one, wanting to hear for their, fr from their loved ones and haven't experienced that just yet. Um, again, folks are still coming out. I'm going to see if I can talk to somebody. Ma'am, can you talk to me real quick about what happened inside? Sorry. Are you okay? I just want to make sure yeah, you're okay. We're fine. You're okay. How long were yeah. you inside for? For about 40 minutes. Did you hear or see anything? It was right next to us where it happened, but we don't. Re they didn't let us know anything about what was going on. Okay, but you're, they just released you all. What did, what did they say? Did Nothing. They just brought us out with our hands up, and that was it. Okay, and I'm assuming you were just here with family shopping, right? Yeah, I'm with my friend, actually, that I have to look for because I haven't spoke to her, so hopefully okay. she's out. So. Just want to make sure you're okay. Thank yeah, you for talking to us. Mm.